Hey everybody, AJ Morris here again, and in this video we are going to kind of wrap up, uh, or at least I'm wrapping up, uh, going over Canva and some specific use cases that you can use uh, with, with Canva. And so in this uh, specific video, we'll be talking about uh, presentations and creating uh, really great looking slide decks uh, with ease uh, that can really match your brand and uh, the the look and feel that you're kind of going for uh, with your presentations. Now, uh, presentations can be used for a number of things, right? They can be used for, um, you know, a, a in-person event, uh, you know, a conference or something like that, or they can be used for a webinar. Uh, imagine this uh, little training video being much longer, going into depth, uh, maybe it's an hour long, uh, live webinar with some Q&A at the end, uh, you would typically have a presentation uh, deck uh, of slides that you'd be going through. And so with that, uh, with Canva, you can create uh, those presentations. So uh, we'll be covering that and that really kind of rounds out uh, Canva and our, our uh, how to use Canva for free for some specific things. So uh, to get into presentations, uh, you can always type in presentation right here and uh, you will find presentations both in the 1920 by 1080 uh, pixel resolution or a 4x3 which is a 1024 by 768. Uh, I typically suggest the, the 1920 by 1080. Uh, it's always a, a better option. Uh, more and more uh, instances you're going to use a, a wider screen uh, display, whether it's a, a projector or uh, even on your own computer if you're doing a webinar. So um, doing, doing that and going that route. Uh, you can start with a blank presentation, perfectly uh, acceptable, uh, but uh, the power of Canva is you don't have to be a designer to get something that looks really good. So with that, uh, as I kind of scroll through the page here, there's a ton of options for you uh, and I think that there's probably something here for everybody uh, that's going to, to really kind of find uh, what a presentation uh, style would look like for uh, you. Um, I'm not seeing anything super popping out at me uh, that's kind of been going on the uh, design style I've used for other uh, demo uh, pieces in this. Uh, there's, there's a, I've seen a few. Uh, but but there are a ton of options here uh, that you can use and so uh, you don't always have to uh, make uh, the same design choices each and every time you're doing something. I'm just kind of defaulting to that uh, and I actually found one here that I like uh, this design solutions um, but I want to see what other options there are before I just start in and so if I click the uh, three dots here uh, you'll open up a, a pop-up window and you can kind of see uh, what your options are. So uh, here's, you know, a few different slide uh, choices uh, that it has. Um, again, these are really good, really well thought out designs um, that you can use for your uh, presentation. And they're giving you a lot of options here to, uh, you know, give you different types of, of slides. I typically only have one to uh, one to three kind of different uh, slide uh, layouts that I use. So I don't, I don't need to have all these, but it's good to know uh, that there's a lot of options here. Uh, this one doesn't, I don't feel like really fits me. So I'm gonna uh, look at something a little bit different than uh, really kind of where I focused uh, with the design style over the last a couple of videos and uh, I have actually used this one a few times and obviously have made uh, a number of changes to the style to really get it to be the way that I want. Uh, I, I like this and I want to use this one as an example uh, because I know this one uh, really well. So we're going to go ahead and use this template. Uh, now the first thing I do anytime I'm using a template is I want to rename it to something that I'm working on. So I have a presentation uh, coming up called uh, at WordCamp uh, San Antonio. 
So I might do something like, uh, you know, WordCamp SAT talk uh, as I'm, I'm getting it, or I might say uh, Gutenberg uh, WordCamp talk. And that way, if I use this presentation uh, a few times, uh, I can, uh, I, I know where it's at. Now, um, I don't need this black thing, so I'm going to get rid of that for a bit. And uh, before I just go through and, and start kind of showing you what I wanted to show you in this, um, I want to show you the page manager uh, when it looks like with it filled out as, as well as it is. So uh, here's, you know, 25 slides you can choose from. You can uh, reorder them as you see fit. Uh, you know, you can really, really put forth uh, the effort and, and make a really good uh, looking slide deck, uh, you know, well designed, well thought out. Uh, and when you want to present it, uh, you can actually present it right inside of, um, you know, right inside. Oh, that's not going to work right. Uh, you could present it right inside of your browser uh, window. You can uh, present it from a website. You can embed it. You can share a link. Uh, or what my favorite is, is to download it to Microsoft Word. Uh, once I have it in a Microsoft Word document, I actually upload it to Google Slides. And I found that it's a little extra step to go from uh, Microsoft PowerPoint up to Google Slides. But, but that works really well. Uh, now, if, if I click on more, uh, I do see a Google Drive option. I don't see a slide option. And I've, to be honest, I've never uh, tried Google Drive to see if it would um, come over. So I'm going to do that really quick. We're going to connect. Uh, this is just asking me to connect my account. So I have an account that I don't really use anymore. So if you copy that email and spam me, that's cool. Um, just note that I don't really check it or care. Uh, it's really just used to uh, test this. So we're now connected to Google Drive and I'm going to put it in a old, uh, actually I'm not going to put it in a folder at all. Um, looks like that's the only option I have. So uh, we'll use PowerPoint and oh, I have to pay because I have premium images. Um, all right, so I guess I can't do that right now. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check, but that's kind of how you set up Google Drive and, and you can pay, so that's kind of cool. Um, all right, so let me go back to the beginning, and uh, when you want to start customizing this to really fit your own uh, color scheme, uh, in the free version, you don't have uh, a lot of options with, with background, with, with colors. Uh, when you are using the pro version, you could add a palette and you could have uh, your own brand kit palette. So you could set up your palette, you could call it whatever you want. We have one called iThemes, uh, iThemes palette. Anybody on our team has it and you see all the colors that you want. So that way I can go, okay, well, I don't want this color. I actually want it to be this. Um, you know, this color I want to, uh, let's do this background image. I want to change to uh, that. Uh, this, uh, this like leaf thing, I want to change to, uh, something like that and that and, you know, something like that, right? Give it more color. Uh, it's super bright and probably hurting your eyes. I apologize. I just picked some really bright colors. But that's how you go and about uh, go about changing things, right? You go to your next slide and you're like, okay, uh, now I want to change this drop uh, back to shadow thing. Uh, and I want to change, sometimes you got to move stuff out of the way, uh, but I want to change the, the plant here uh, to kind of be more uh, on brand. So I'm going to do that. So here's kind of my brand. I might even pull uh, this person out and use somebody else, depending on what I've got going on. You can see here uh, is essentially the same person uh, flipped around, different hairstyle and all that. So you could you could do some options there. Uh, what I wish I could do is take uh, this person and 
change the colors. I can't do that. So that's why I use undraw because I can go in, uh, use, use Adobe XD, uh, change all the colors in undraw for, for the, the set I want or the person I want. And then, um, you know, put it back in there. Uh, you could also look at elements and, um, you know, try to find so, you know, another element like this, like if you just searched for people, uh, you know, eventually you would find kind of what this one is. Uh, you know, here, here's like some examples of, um, you know, here's one and you could go and say, uh, I want to, um, you know, see these here's, here's that one, uh, that you can see. Um, but they don't have a way to like go and, and find all of them that are uh, of the same like like set. Uh, that's that's something I wish uh, there was an easy way to do in here is be like, I want to find uh, the set of people. Right now you just go into different tabs. Um, if you go to view more, you can view more by that, that person. And, and that's the kind of only way you're going to see it. Um, but like... I want this person and I don't know who this is and I wish it would come in here to show me who this was. That's, that's one of the little gotchas there. So this is how you change your presentation. Then obviously just come in here, change your text and uh, you're good to go. Once you're ready, click present, click download, uh, grab it as a, um, you know, you can gr grab it in, in whatever format you want. Uh, don't use this download though. Use, this download over here and choose PowerPoint. That way you can download uh, and use it in PowerPoint uh, on whatever device you're using it on. So uh, that is Canva. That's Canva with presentations. Uh, I think Canva is a really good tool for, for a marketing perspective, but also even from somebody that's doing presentations. Uh, you don't need to necessarily hire, hire a designer all the time. Uh, if you've got an eye for design or you've got uh, at least a good starting point uh, that you can pick through one of the presentations. Uh, it gives you a really good, clean uh, look, and then you just kind of use the slides that matter uh, for you. So uh, that's Canva. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this series. If you want to go deeper into Canva, let us know. There's always a chance that we uh, put some more of these Canva videos together. Uh, and as you're you know going through this series, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you join us uh, for our Facebook Live uh, Q&As as we start to uh, look at uh, being able to answer for those. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.